You definitely wouldn't want to attempt this build without one of these automatic screwdrivers because if you don't get it in really tight it'll be loose and that has a tendency of coming apart in midair or when it's landing. Two things that I've noticed about this frame is that this section right here is obviously where the lipo battery would go. You probably put it in like so, like this, on this rear component right here. And another interesting thing is that it comes with this stabilizer, like this, how you say, compensator thing for your forward mounted action camera. If you've got a GoPro or something like that, you put it up in front right here and this will kind of like compensate for any wobbles that it will experience in midair. In fact, it was one of the comments on the previous unboxing video that implied that this was used for stabilizing the action camera. So to Key Productions 100, many thanks fine sir, my hat's off to you. Follow up videos will be putting all of these components onto this thing in order to make it fly in radio controlled or RC mode. You're going to need a power source, a LiPo battery like this, a flight controller or autopilot. We're running the APM 2.5, courtesy of 3D Robotics. You're going to need the lift generating device, the motors and propellers, electronic speed control, and a little bit of DIY know-how. Some of that manly grit and engineering skills that I've learned across five years. Once again, thanks for watching folks. This has been Science Epic Quad Labs or whatever you want to call it. We will be getting going step by step in the development process of this guy right here from the ground to the air and see how that goes and see how the resulting video footage will look like. Thanks for watching. If you want to support this, just drop a view, drop a like and a listen. That'd be great and I will see you guys in the next video.